Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM. So in this video, we will see an introduction to PC and PP domains. Basically, we will try to easily uh, identify what information does PC and PP domains of SDTM contains. So let us say there is a clinical trial in which a drug combination of drug A and drug B is being tested. So and this is being administered to patients. So once administered, so let's say the blood samples are being collected. So even before administering, a sample is being collected to see the baseline values. Uh, and let's say it is collected at minus 30 minutes and right after administering the product. So sample is being collected at zero minutes and then 30 minutes after dose administration and one hour, two hour and so on. Let's say there are few more time points uh, of collection. So once these samples are collected, so these will be analyzed using an appropriate analysis technique using some HPLC and other techniques. And then we'll get the concentrations of the both drug A and drug B. Let we'll get some uh, concentration values for drug A. So let's say for drug A, so we get the concentrations at each time point. And similarly for also for drug B, we get some concentrations. So let's say the concentrations are measured in terms of micrograms per ml for drug A and for drug B it is in terms of nanogram per ml because the units can vary and the dose can vary and the analysis sensitivity can vary. So we are measuring the concentration in terms of microgram per ml for drug A and nanogram per ml for drug B. So we need to store this concentration information somewhere in our SDTM data sets. So this is where our PC comes into picture where we store the pharmacokinetic concentrations of the drug. So what does PC contain? So PC contains the different time point based concentrations for all the drugs and sometimes it's not only drugs the metabolites of the drugs may also be measured. So we'll have the concentrations of all the analytes measured presented in PC. So what information we'll have? So for PC we may have test CD like drug A and then the associated concentrations at different time points like minus 30 minutes, 0 minutes, 30 minutes etc. and the associated concentrations would be stored in PC ORRES. So this will be our PC test CD. Similarly, drug B and other metabolites and so on will that information will go and sit in our PC domain. So how do we make use of this concentration? Measuring the concentration. The concentration does not give some much useful information as such. So what we do is we uh, convert this concentration uh, into something called as concentration time profile. So we'll plot a graph like so on time on x-axis and concentration on y-axis. Let's say if this is being given orally which it means like taken by mouth. So we will plot the concentrations over different time points by which are measured and the graph may look something like this. Okay, so this are again this curve we get by plotting time and concentration at each time point for each of the metabolite. So once we get this profile, so what we call this is this is a curve. So there is this area under the total curve. So we call this as AUC or area under the curve. So this is actually gives us the total amount of drug that is actually absorbed into the body after administering. So similarly at one point the drug would reach a maximum concentration. So that concentration we call it as C max. And then so a time point that at which the concentration has reached maximum it will be called T max. The time at which the maximum concentration is reached is called T max. So we have these are a few examples of the parameters which we call as pharmacokinetic parameters. From the concentrations which we obtained by measuring the samples, we plot a concentration versus time profile. From that we get a graph, so we get a curve. So the area under that curve is called as AUC. 
and the maximum concentration reached will be uh, known from that graph and that is called C max and the time at which the concentration has reached maximum will also be known that will be called T max. So these are a few examples of what we call as pharmacokinetic parameters. So we have concentration information and now we have pharmacokinetic parameter information. So we store this pharmacokinetic parameter information in our PP domain. So what information will we have in our PP? So we will have PP test CD like so the each one row for each of the pharmacokinetic parameter C max, T max, AUC and there are other pharmacokinetic parameters which would be of interest for us so we can store that information as well and then the associated number that will be used will be stored in our PP ORRES variable so and again if we have different metabolites we may use PPCAT to store the information related to the metabolite or the analyte that we are measuring so similarly we will have information for drug B and so so PC contains the concentration information that we measured and PP contains the derived pharmacokinetic parameters so there can be this additional question how this pharmacokinetic parameters would be derived so pharmacokinetic parameters there are exclusive softwares like winonlin and other things so they this concentration information along with some other additional subject level information would be passed into that software which calculates this pharmacokinetic parameters for us and then we use that file to derive our PP domain. Otherwise there in some companies there may be uh, SAS macros itself to create this pharmacokinetic parameters based on the concentrations. So again irrespective of whatever uh, however we are getting the pharmacokinetic parameters so we store them in PP domain and the concentration information will be stored in PC domain. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and keep learning.